Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial by No Code Africa. And in this tutorial, I will just uh, quickly show you how to implement the QR code functionality inside your application. All right. Um, let's say you're trying to build uh, an application or some form of functionality in your your website or in your mobile app that requires users to scan a particular QR code and then be presented with uh, a certain link that they can actually go ahead and then click to visit so you can actually get to do that in Flutterflow really really simple so I will just show you how to do that and you get to see how it's done okay let's do it so something like this yeah so with this kind of uh, you know design you have a uh, scan a, a barcode to extract product details right so it could be drug details that's medicine or it could be anything else right so i will just show you how to do something similar like this but not, not necessarily with the same ui but we'll just uh do something really simple and fast okay so let me go over here and uh okay no not create a new product i want to use an existing project that i had already done all right uh because i don't want to start setting up firebase and all of that okay so uh let's see how we can use these particular projects to still get these done uh this part we get to okay so this is login part and sign up okay let's go to home all right in the home part here this is like an old project so i just want you to see the functionality right so it's functionality so i'm going to add a floating action button around here so i'm going to add a floating action button around here and um okay let's say all right let's add something to this column that says um scan qr code or go to qr code page let's do something like that so let's have a button here and then the button is going to say uh uh go to qr code page something like this okay so now we have this we can change the color we can change the color a bit to maybe something like this all right and we can remove the uh elevation here we can just take out the elevation here and uh, i think with this is okay now uh when the user clicks on this it's supposed to take the user to another page so let's click and click here to create the new page for for us to set up our scan qr code scenario all right so let's call these a uh, scan all right then we can go ahead and click here and say create page and then we will click over here and then just delete the app bar so i'm deleting the app bar right now and then the next thing that i need to quickly do is i'm going to go ahead and um, put some things here right so just like you saw here right we have something here that says uh, drug details for instance medicine details so let's just put some few basic text around it just to make it look a little bit neat so i'll click here and add a row in the row uh okay by the way the reason why i'm doing this is because someone actually reached out to me and said he would like to know this and then another person then another person so i just decided to uh quickly do this so let's uh let's get it done so i'll go ahead and click on text and then here i'll say uh what do we have here scan a barcode to extract okay so let's say scan uh QR or barcode barcode to extract details okay something like this we can make it a little bit big let's say uh, 700 by these uh, I'm not very very good with uh, UI so I would say 20 here and then maybe just 20 here and uh, I think that's pretty much it. I can click on this and just center align it. Uh, no, not like that. My top here. I wanted to just uh, have it like this. Okay, so I think it's okay. Uh, here, uh, center align that. All right, so we have this. Let me give it some padding from the top, maybe 50. Just Okay, so scan your QR code or barcode to extract details. Then here... The next thing we need to do is uh, the details that needs to be extracted. So we can just duplicate this, Control D, and I will say, uh, let's call this QR code details. QR code details, okay? This is gonna be the QR code details. And uh, let's even give it much space downward, so like this. Then let's click over at the same column and then add, a, uh, let's say an icon, I don't know. 
we might find uh, an icon that can give us some sort of effects like let's say scan can we say something like that okay nice we have something i think we can use either of this this one looks like it document scanner oh this is the best thing to use okay so we will use this all right i will try to make it really larger maybe uh 80 nice okay so i'll go ahead and then just give this a padding let's say 50 yay all right so now we have this and uh what do we do next let's go ahead and click on this up bar let's bring back our up bar so then in case we want to go back to the previous page let's say our uh, scan our cure code cure slash barcode okay cord like this okay all right so we have this and um pretty much working all right now now that we've gotten this how do we go ahead and set up the qr code scenario let's click here right and then um well there are two ways we can just put it here or put a floating action button but i prefer here so when you click on this what you want to do is go to actions click on add action and then say qr uh, code yeah so you will see here scan barcode or QR code then you put that up and then you can check this thing that means you want to scan both QR code and barcode okay and then like that the next thing you need to quickly do is uh, go ahead and okay leave this one here for cancel and then here let's call it something what do we need to call our action output variable let's call it uh, QR code result uh, QR code results um, results res result QR code result let's make it like this QR uh, maybe code uh, all right so anything you want to call it QR code result it's fine now that you've done that the next thing you need to quickly do is click on these all right just click on these and now you want to go ahead and embed these with the value that comes from the QR code, like from what has been scanned. So you click on this and then uh, come over here and click this, come to action outputs, and then you will see the QR code result. So you click on this. So this is going to be the result of what you've scanned here. So that's about it, all right? Now with this information now, you can go ahead and then have your application running successfully to scan QR codes, right? Um, now, I think that's basically all of it. All you just need to do now is you can't really run these or simulate these with uh, their test mode per se. It, it, it's not going to really be so helpful because you need to install these in your application, right? Like you need to have the APK file and then download it and then, uh, you know, check it out in your in your mobile phone to see how it really, really works. So uh, I think this is where we get to try to test it out and I will try to test it out in my phone and show it to you. Let's see it. Oh, okay, so, uh, sorry, actually that part was not going to be edited out. <laughs> All right, so before we get it to get to test it in the, in the phone, there are two ways, there are two things we can do. Either we uh, do a web published version of it, like we can go here and publish it as a, uh, as a, uh, as a, uh, as a website, for instance, like do a web publishing link. We already have this here, so we can actually update it. Or preferably, if at all you have a subscription, right? You can go ahead and just uh, click on this developer menu and download the code. So I would just go ahead and click on this to download the code. Yeah, it will take some couple of seconds for me to download the codes. And after that, uh, I will be able to just install it. Now I have the file downloaded, so I'm going to go ahead and extract it as an APK file, run it on my phone, and then show it to you in the next slide of this video. Make sense? Okay, wait for me. Hey guys, okay, so I just recognized that uh, I actually showed you uh, downloading the code part. <laughs> I didn't download the APK file, so I had to come back from the future and do it again in, in the past. <laughs> All right, so I was just trying to do time traveling now. So I'll click here to actually download the APK. This one takes way longer than just downloading code, okay? So it's going to take about two to four minutes for me to finish downloading the code and then not downloading the code, downloading the APK. What's wrong with me and code? Okay, it's good to always want to download the code. It's fine. So uh, I'm currently 
trying to download the APK file, then I will run it on my Android, and then uh, I will show you the outcome of the application. I will use it to uh, scan the scan a QR code. All right. So there's one more thing. Oh my goodness, there's one more thing that I didn't do, uh, which you should check out right now. Let's go back to home, and uh, here we have the QR code itself, the QR code uh, button. It's supposed to lead us to the the page we have to use in scanning. So I'm gonna click here to add an action, and then say navigate to, all right? Thank God I remembered this now. So I can just say uh, slide up and say 500 milliseconds. Okay, so I think this is pretty good. All right, so now when we have access to this page, we can just click on this button and it takes us to scan scan our queer code, then from there we can go ahead and have what we want. So here our APK is still downloading and I have to finish for this one to finish. I have to wait for this one to finish downloading before I go ahead and try uh, downloading the APK all over again. So um, it's just going to be a pretty long wait, not too long, but let's see how this goes. Okay, meanwhile, uh, the next clip that you're gonna see it's me testing the application on my Android. See you guys. Okay, so uh, at this point, uh, we're, going to, we're going to just go ahead and test the application and see how it works. So as you can see, this is the application in my Android. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on it. And uh, well, there are some things that I did not change, like uh, the background color is not uh, white. And then um, I did not turn it off, turn the, the dark mode off. So I will just go ahead and then type in uh, my uh, username, my email, right? I'll just type in my email, then put my password. All right, then I can just go ahead and then log in. There's no user record. Okay, so uh, what did I use? I think let's use this one. There's no user record. Okay, so I think I can't remember the email that I used. There's no user record again. This user may have been deleted. Okay, so let's go ahead and just sign up. Uh, I will just go ahead and sign up all over again. And it doesn't take a lot of time to sign up. So I'm creating an account. Uh, after a while, I should be ushered in. Okay, so now I have been ushered into the application. Uh, this was the old, uh, you know, thing that we did before. So, well, let's just test it. Hi there. Hi there. Send message. Okay, so <laughs> really cool, right? Hi there. It's me again. Okay. Uh oh. No, no, let's go back. Let's send message. Okay, so I just wanted to test that. Sorry, that's just me playing around. Uh, let's go test the QR code page. So, I'll click on it, it brings me up here. And it's time for us to uh, like scan a QR code. So here I'm going to just go ahead and then tap on the button. When I tap on the button, it's going to ask me. Uh, it's going to ask me to give it permission. So I'll just say while using this application. So now this thing here just gives me the. I'm just going to look for a QR code to scan. It's seeing lots of QR codes. Um, I don't really know which one is a real QR code. Oh, sorry, this is not a QR code. <laughs> this uh, exactly. Now, if you observe, it's really, really fast. I don't know which one it scanned, but let's try to just uh, pick up one. Let's say this one. Okay, so let's try to scan this one. Let's, let me try to scan again. All right, you see, it brings up really fast. So it gives you access to these. And then with these now, you can actually go ahead and make it such that when the user clicks on the result, it can take the user to the, to the page. Like, like right now, if I tap on it, nothing happened. So uh, what you could do is add a launch URL action to this particular uh, link such that when the user uh, you know, clicks on it, it can take the user to the other page. Let's see how we can do that immediately as well. Alrighty guys, this is the final part of this tutorial. So uh, let's just see how to implement what I, I mentioned. So if, uh, for you to make it such that when the, the user somehow gets the result of the, the, the scan that they made, all right, you want it to appear here, you want to make it such that they can click on it and then it can take them to the link. What you need to do is 
uh, we just need to go ahead and then uh, create an app state, right? Uh, we just need to go ahead and create an app state. Either we do that. Okay, so there are two ways to do it, actually. Let's see another way to do it. Let's come over here to this particular text that shows the result of our scan. Then, okay, before I continue, let's do this. Let's click on expansion so that if the text shows, it can fall down instead of appearing the way it appeared before, okay? Now, the next thing we need to do is click on here and click on add an action. And uh, we will say launch URL. Launch, launch, launch URL. So I think it should be here. So we'll just click on this. So now this is the, the URL that we wanted to launch. We don't want it to be a specific URL. We want it to come from variable. We'll click on unset and we go to action input and we can just put the result of the QR code. That's it. So the 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 value of these the UR code the URL that will be launched when the user clicks on this will be what uh, will be the result of the the scanning. All right. So that's uh, that's just all you need to do, and then you have like a fully functional application. Try it and let me hear what you have as your result in the comments. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video, and uh, you know share them with everyone else that you would know will need something like this. Okay, take care.